Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. This is going to be an updated video on my Arrow DVD and Blu-ray collection. Now, I done a video a while back and I didn't have nearly as much DVDs and Blu-rays from Arrow Video as I do now. Recently, I have come across two CEXs, one in town and one in Limerick that are selling off the Arrow DVDs and Blu-rays very cheaply and I'm happy about that because if you were to get those kind of collector's edition Blu-rays and such uh, you'd pay a nice bit if you went into the likes of say Golden Discs or HMV when they were about they charged an absolute fucking arm and a leg for them so I was able to go in and get them for like a tenner or, or, or a fiver each so I was happy out with that so let's start the collection first off we have this awesome double feature um, Blu-ray of Lady Snowblood and Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance. Kind of spare on the special features, but you are getting a, a, a double feature in this one. And it includes Slicing Through uh, the Snow, exclusive interview with Japanese cinema expert Jasper Sharp, original theatrical trailers for both movies, reversible sleeve, which is standard with most of the Arrow collector's editions, collector's booklet, The Crimson Kimono, by critic and author Tom Miles, which is illustrated uh, with original stills. Really, really cool movie. If you like the likes of Kill Bill, or if you like Samurai and Baby Cart, definitely uh, check out these movies. Uh, I can't pronounce her name properly. I hope I, I, I'll try my best. But Miko Kaje, she is from Prison, uh, Female Prisoner Scorpion and uh, Blind Woman's Curse. She's awesome in this as Lady Snowblood. Next up, we have the awesome The Beast Within, a very weird, quirky kind of horror movie about a wear cicada, a young man who turns into a wear cicada. This is chock full of special features. I, I, there, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read through them all because there's a rake of them. But it does come with standard booklet. It comes with a reversible sleeve, and like the newer versions, it comes with both the Blu-ray and DVD versions of the movie. Um, Masquerade by Mother Nature, exploring the natural horror of film plus contemporary article on the film's production. Uh, you also have an in-depth look at The Beast Within uh, by Philip Morrow and the creature feature, Catherine Moffat and effects wizard, Jerry Emdeloff, yeah. So there's some cool documentaries and cool tidbits on this. And if you're a fan of werewolf movies, definitely check it out. Next up, we have the amazing Killer Clowns from Outer Space by the Chiodo Brothers. The transfer on this is fantastic. Probably one of the best transfers I've seen uh, on a Blu-ray for a, a kind of low-budget 80s horror movie. And it is, it's really, really, really nicely kind of put together. There's some nice special features. For example, you have Creating Clowns, an interview with Charles Kyoto and Creature Fabricator Dwight Roberts. Bringing to life these things, a tour of the Kyoto Brothers production. And you have Composing Clowns, an interview with the composer John Massari. There's also deleted scenes, theatrical trailer, and a reversible sleeve. Again, a lot of bang for your buck, and it's a cult classic, so you can't go wrong. Next up, we have Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. A uh, cult classic, Vane Rames is in it. And you have this weird kind of couple living in a dilapidated house, and it's populated by freaks. Loads of special features. Um, timely terrors, people under the stairs, behind closed doors. Uh, leading actress AJ Lan Lanner remembers the people under the stairs. Silent but deadly, co-star creator of Final Destination series recalls the impact of people under the stairs. Original trailer, reversible sleeve and booklet. You also have, uh, um, which is uh, the booklet is Screams and Nightmares, films of Wes, Wes Craven, which is illustrated and has archive stills. Again, another fantastic addition to the collection. Classic, Night of the Comet. This one's chock full of special features as well. Interviews with Mary Stewart, uh, Catherine Mary Stewart and Kelly Maroney. Uh, another interview with Robert Beltrain. Curse of the Comet, an interview with the special makeups effects creator, David B. Miller, collector's book, booklet. And uh, yeah, there's some original archive stills and posters. Really nice transfer again. You have fantastic transfers for the these really old kind of cult classics, and they've done an amazing job with this. 
uh, reversible sleeve booklet usual great addition to your collection if you can get your hands on it i uh, got this as a gift from my housemate it is the bloodthirsty trilogy the vampire doll lake of dracula and evil evils of dracula it's essentially a japanese vampire movie uh high definition presented and transferred to the film's original uh, elements uncompressed mono original japanese soundtrack with op optionally new translated english subtitles and kim newman also has a section on this uh the kim newman on the bloodthirsty trilogy a new video appraisals by the critic and writer uh reversible sleeve booklet nice addition to the collection uh blade of the immortal very very cool japanese movie i think it's based on a manga or anime uh, nice transfer not as many um special features takeshi mike on the blade of the immortal new interview with the legendary director uh exclusive to the arrow video at the 2017 london film festival magi versus 100 magi versus 300 behind the scenes featurette documenting the, sh the shooting of the film's thrilling opening and cinematic fight scenes cast interviews on set production stills original theatrical trailer and again reversible sleeve really cool movie if you're a fan of samurai movies and like blood and gore definitely check out blade of the immortal the villainess another uh asian movie i think this is korean uh very low on special features but the transfer is great there's a trailer reversible sleeve and a full length audio commentary by podcast arrow podcast host stan ashurst and dan martin so again if you like, say, uh, La Femme Nikita, this is maybe one to check out. Motel Hell, this has a fantastic transfer, transfer done to it. And again, when you get, I find sometimes 80s movies, when they get transferred to Blu-ray, it just heightens how scratchy and how damaged the original print is. But Arrow does their damnedest to try and clean it up. Uh, great special features with this. Uh, you have original trailer, reversible sleeve. Collector's booklet, Motel Hell's frightful female protagonist, Ida Smith, and the secrets behind conceiving the slasher siren, uh, with Scream Queens Elsa Dowling and Chantel Amber's uh, commentary by, I think, is it Dave Parker? And yeah, Chopping Block interview with Paul Link from Glamour to Gore, back to the motel's uh, female protagonists, and yeah. You have a nice little booklet written by Kim Newman, illustrated with original archives, posters, plus Motel Hell comic book extracts and an exclusive interview with Chris Monroe. So yeah, if you're a fan of horror, uh, Motel Hell is definitely one to check out. I, I do love uh, this movie. It's it's really fun. And uh, Rory Calhoun is, is fantastic in it. If you, if you like your horror and your horror comedy, that's definitely one to check out. Life Force, Toby Hooper's fantastic vampire um vampire space horror where a, a a delectable alien vampire s comes down and starts to turn men into zombies uh steve rails back is in it what have we got the making of life force an epic uk exclusive on the Gen genesis production and release of life force featuring interviews with hooper associate producer michael j kagan editor john groves actors audrey morris Nicholas Ball and makeup artist Sandra Exley. I'm, I'm terrible with pronouncing names. I apologize about that. Uh, you also have Dangerous Beauty, an interview with Matilda May, Life Force's iconic actress. Uh, Carlson's Curse star Steve Railsback looks back on Life Force and his career. Original theatrical trailer, reversible sleeve, and newly commissioned arts artwork. So yeah. Very cool. You also have audio commentary from Toby Hooper, moderated by filmmaker uh, Tim Sullivan. So yeah, again, awesome addition to the Arrow collection. Uh, Arrow doesn't just do horror movies, as you saw with the other ones. Uh, it also does kind of cult westerns and samurai movies. Uh, Django, Prepare a Coffin. This one doesn't star Frank O'Neill. It's bare bones with the special features. Uh, the Django Explained. New interview with Spaghetti Western author Kevin Grant. Original trailer, collector's booklet, uh, explained by Spaghetti Western expert Howard Hughes. High definition transfer, optional English and Italian audio. Yeah, this this was originally in Italian, 
so they dubbed it into English. Um, I like restaurants, so I couldn't pass this up. And yeah, th this again, this doesn't have Franco Nero as Django. It's it's another actor, but uh, yeah, nice addition to the collection. Uh, not the greatest for special features, but if you like westerns, definitely check it out. Uh, deranged, a kind of semi-biographical take on Ed Gein, and uh, yeah, I, it, it's 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 cool. You have a, a nice few special features on this one. I think this was Tom Savini's first kind of major gig as well, and we'll just have a, a look over it. Stars Robert Blossom as the kind of Ed Gein-esque character. And the special features include a uh, blossoming brilliance. Scott Spiegel speaks about the range star Robert Blossom and the lasting legacy of this gore soap gem. Ed Gein from Murder to Movies. Uh, Lawrence or Harvey, Human Centipede 2, discusses the lurid legacy of a Wisconsin serial killer and the secrets of portraying a cinematic psychopath. Uh, yeah, this movie is pretty cool. Again, it's got a reversible sleeve booklet. And there's also an interview with Savini himself. So yeah, if you like the likes of kind of uh, serial killer movies or anything to do with Ed Gein or, or Psycho, check out The Ranged. And it is pretty cool to see uh, Tom Savini's humble beings. Classic. I think this film doesn't get as much recognition as, say, the likes of The Thin and The Fly. Maybe a bit more than The Blob, but the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers from the 70s. And this one has Stealing Through Time, uh, writings of Jack Finney about Finney's original novel, uh, The Body Snatchers. We have Revisitors from Outer Space or How They Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Pod, a documentary on the making of a film featuring Philip Kaufman, Donald Sutherland, writer W. Day Richer and more, telev more televised cinematography pod. Cinematography Chapman, Taxi Driver discusses the look, special effects an opening space sequence, original the theatrical trailer, reversible sleeve, and newly commissioned artwork by Nathaniel Marsh. 52 page booklet featuring new writings on the film by David Kierens, as well as reprints of classic articles, including contemporary interviews with Philip Kaufman and W. D. Richer. Original archive stills and posters included. And then we have the window box version of a very very cool uh day of the dead again the first two dead movies gets a lot of recognition this one doesn't but they haven't skimped on special features you the original kind of window window kind of editions of the arrow movies came with a lot of stuff for example it came with this very cool comic book and it also came with a very cool double-sided poster let's get the poster out for you there yeah it's a pretty cool poster Ugh. turn it that way and there's there's a booklet there's reversible sleeves there is a couple of documentaries included in this guy i'll just have a read through them now what is included on this one um it includes commentary by greg nicotero howard Berger, and mike deke uh many days of the dead behind the zombies footage uh Romero Zombography, a photo album, Souvenirs of the Dead, Night of Night and Dawn of the Dead trailers, audio recollections by Martin Labry, uh, TV ads of the dead, and yeah, that's that's it. But you are getting a uh, record other stuff, including the comic book, which is I actually really like the comic book. I'll give you a look there. I really like the art on it. You get the comic book and you get the poster. And it's 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 like they were the kind of early versions of the Arrow Arrow special editions. And I, I actually kind of miss them. You don't get as much. Uh, another window box one I got was The Exterminator. Love this movie. This is actually one of the first Arrow editions I got. Uh, what is included on this? Nice transfer. Uh, 1080p transfer. Fire and Slice. The making of The Exterminator. Uh, 42nd Street, now and then, a tour of New York's former sleaze circuit with director uh, Frank Hellenbarter. Audio commentary with Mark Botsman, producer of The Exterminator and writer of The Exterminator 2, moderated by Colin Waddle. So yeah, it's it, this is the Encore version, and again, it's got the reversible sleeve with newly commissioned artwork. And you also have another poster. I'm loving the fact you get posters with these. So you get, like... The original 
the original cover for the exterminator and you get this newly commissioned kind of cool poster which is included so yeah i do really like the old window box ones because they came with posters and comics and stuff we're coming to the end of the blu-rays so next up we have shivers now i'm just gonna open this up and this one came with uh two dvds uh it also had a very cool booklet on david cronenberg and his movies it came with the blu-ray and the dvd version really nice uh steel tin edition a very cool artwork and i think there was two or three documentaries one on Cron cronenberg's uh work one specifically on shivers and i think one on independent horror produced in canada really nice collector's tin i do like these um i think the newer collector's tins are better because they don't fucking rust and lastly for the blu-rays i have this beast this is very cool this is the limited edition battle royal uh box set which i think there's only a couple couple 500 or 600 versions of it printed so you have a a number of discs with this and there is i think this is the uncut version this is the regular version and this is the special features version and what else do we get in this collection we get two booklets uh essays and commentary and the other one is artwork and concepts and i'll, I'll give you a look at give you a look at that one it's pretty cool just some really really nice artwork uh if you haven't seen battle royal i highly recommend it and if anyone says that um the hunger games is better they're very wrong uh it also comes with this very cool comic book not the manga not the manga version but a very kind of cool cool kind of prequel comic book called parents day and a couple of stills it also comes with a poster i'm loving the posters Arrow needs to bring back putting posters in the uh, special editions. So yeah, you've that original classic one, and this one here. So you can see the three main characters. There's also some movie stills. I'll dig them out for you. Well, you have cast photo. That one. That chick. That's the chick who played Gogo Yabara in uh, Kill Bill. There, 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 and there. Just a couple more. It's this box set is amazing because it's chock full of some awesome stuff. And uh, again, I got this in CEX. I think I got it for like twenty euro, but it was worth every penny. So yeah, I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna turn that down. So that's it for the Blu-rays. And next up, we have the dvds now obviously the dvds don't have as much special features i find that a lot of the um a lot of the the dvds that are released nowadays have very kind of vanilla features on them but uh we'll start off with my favorite cult classic hell comes to frogtown high definition transfer uh grappling with the green gargantuans wrestling icon roddy piper speaks about his leading man turn in hell comes to frogtown Amphibian Armageddon actor Brian Frank remembers his roles as Commander Toady. Creatures, uh, creature feature creator, effects wizard Steve Wan reveals his secrets behind F Hell Comes to Frogtown. He's one of the guys who done uh, The Predator, helped Sam Winston work on The Predator. Uh, newly commissioned artwork, reversible sleeve, and trailer. So again, mm, mm, it has a nice few features, but it's not chock-a-block with uh, special features. Really cool indie horror. Uh, which I found out about through a friend of mine and my housemate called The Endless. It's about a cult that worships uh, circles and loops. Uh, what's included in this? Filmmakers commentary, exclusive filmmakers interviews, fine behind the scenes featurettes, deleted scenes, cast featurettes, VFX breakdown, outtakes and more. Uh, if you like, if you like the likes of Donnie Darko or uh, The Void, it's like Donnie Darko meets the Void. Have, have a look at it, The Endless. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have the sequel to Reanimator, Bride of Reanimator. And 
the special features are actually fairly good on this one because it's 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 a favorite called classic so you have splatter masters you have special features artists special effects artists behind bride of reanimator brand new fx featurette with a wealth of behind the scenes footage and interviews with robert kurtzman of knb and screaming mad george tony Do dowlin dowlin john bleacher getting ahead in horror making an archive featurette Meg is reanimated, deleted scene with behind the scenes footage, carnival sequence, cast and crew uh, discuss exercise sequence and theatrical trailer. Again, has a reversible sleeve. Just a reversible sleeve for that one. Next up we have Demons 2. This is an awesome, awesome flick. And yeah, I, I really do like these old kind of uh, Liberto Bava horror movies because they go fucking totally uh, over the top. Uh, what special features have we got? This amazing edition contains reversible sleeve featuring new artwork, collector's booklet featuring brand new uh, brand new writings on demons by Colin Waddle, collector's comic Demons Tree Part 2, The Ogre, Not the Church, Not the Black Demons, uh, First Ever Time, our video presents the original sequel to the cult classic. So, let's have a look. Little comic there. And again, I'm, I'm really liking the artwork. It's very cool. It seems to be set in kind of um, uh, the time of the Spanish Inquisition and the like. And the masked man there. I, I'm, I wasn't really big into demons. I wasn't a fan of it. Till a good friend of mine, another horror YouTuber, Tara Mae Jackson, uh, kind of just taught me about the lore and how great the movie is. And you gotta love, you gotta love the fucking art on the box. So yeah, definitely a nice addition to the collection. Maniac Cop. Uh, love this uh, movie. How can you not? It's got Tom Atkins and Bruce fucking Campbell. There's not much on this DVD in the way of special features, but it does include a very cool interview by Tom Atkins explaining how lots of people mistook him as an actual cop and he had to explain he wasn't. Uh, comes with a booklet, by and large, a uh, fun movie but I, I should try and track this down on Blu-ray. Next up I got the Immortal Edition of Martin and this is another cool, cool collector's edition that comes with some really nice stuff. I'll take them out there. So you got art cards, you got the booklet, and you also got this very, very cool poster, which I'm going to open up there for you. Now this was George A. Romero's kind of first non-zombie horror movie, and he wanted to do something that made the audience wonder, oh yeah, is this guy kid actually a vampire, or is he just, just some deranged teenager? So let's have a look at the special features. We have original theatrical trailer. Vampire, the Italian cut, with English subs featuring legendary Goblin score. Uh, European Romero documentary, the audio recollections of Romero, Savini, Garrick and Rubenstein, the making of Martin, a recounting documentary. Original TV and radio spots, Martin photo album. Uh, four sleeve uh, art op uh, options, a double-sided fold-out poster, exclusive collector's booklet and a set of six art cards so yeah it was pretty cool to get my hands on this um i actually did think i bought this new but i think it was when hmv was kind of going down the tube so i got it for a tenner so i'm not going to complain another one i got on the cheap city of the dead and uh this is the 30th anniversary edition restored uh hd presentation uh but i don't know if it's hd because it's blu-ray but world exclusive extras World exclusive booklet, six exclusive postcards, double sided poster. And I got nothing of these because I actually got this in, I don't think it was actually CX, I think it was a Trifty. So I only got the booklet, but it still obviously has the reversible sleeve, which I really like. Cool, cool movie, cool edition. Next up, we have Deadly Spawn. A kind of alien knockoff and special features include collector's booklet featuring writing author Callum Waddle and Tim Sullivan, uh, two audio commentaries with writer producer Ted A. Bunis and Mark Harward comic prequel, 
with its very own musical score, alternative opening sequence in the workshop of SF director John Dodd's selection of archived TV interviews, stills gallery behind the scenes images, pages from the script, artwork and more, outtake, outtake reel and audition tapes and trailer. Again, has a, has a very cool reversible poster uh, or reversible sleeve comes with a booklet. And lastly, we have Vamp, uh, another classic uh, window edition, arrow edition, and it has uh, four alternate uh, covers. And we have in this one, I'm going to see, because I got this again and I forget if I got the poster. No, I got the poster. I got the poster with this one. So, have a look at the poster. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, come out, come out the fudge. Yeah, I think that's the newly commissioned poster, and this is the original. Um, essentially, it's 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 dust from dust till dawn before from dust till dawn with Grace Jones as a vampire stripper, and some lads who decide to go on a stag night to a um to a, va a strip club that's run by vampires, but they don't realize it's run by vampires. Let's have a quick run through of the features. Okay, special features include uh, Vamp It Up, DD Fiper Remembers, uh, After Dark Club, Vampire Strip Bear, an interview with Richard Wenick, Back to the 80s, producing campy cult classic, Scrapbook of Scares, Richard Wenk, with Wenk, Wenk, looks <laughs> over his collection of Vamp memorabilia, behind the scenes rehearsals, blooper reel, Dracula Bites the Big Apple is short, by Richard Wenick and yeah so you got the poster you got the four alternate covers so yeah again I love the Arrow video collection because you get so much cool stuff with it I think they've kind of dropped the ball of late but when they started you got some really cool comics and booklets and stuff like that have you guys any special Arrow edition video DVDs or Blu-rays and if so what ones do you have what's your favorite and what's your favorite special feature or what's your Favorite goodie that has come with one that you own is it is it like a, a special comic or a poster or the likes of I think the Hellraiser one, uh, not the Hellraiser one. I think the uh, Phantasm one comes with the sphere, the deadly sphere. But yeah, that's my Arrow film collection. If you have any of your own or if you want to reply or tell me what your favorite one is or what your favorite kind of goodie that comes with them there. Leave in the comments below or even, even do a video showing your own Arrow collection. My name is Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. And yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.